My name is Josie and I'm in Hanoi! Oh. <laughs> my name is Josie, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Today we are in Hanoi, it is my very first time. We are walking around the old quarter. I would like some breakfast. The thing I want most of all is some egg coffee. This actually isn't really what I expected. So we're gonna try and find that today. Oh, I fell. And then we're gonna show you our amazing hotel that's located right in the middle of all of this amazing stuff. Mira how, photo. <laughs> so if you've been watching my Vietnam series, we started in Saigon in Ho Chi Minh City, we went up to Hoi An, then we spent some time in Da Nang, and then now we're here in Hanoi. It's so different. I, I wasn't sure what to expect, like at all, I had no idea, but I'm actually really liking it. This is my first walk out. It's kind of like my first impressions really, but it is really cool. It's busy, but it's also got like some street food. It's got kind of everything we like in a town, really. So you can get egg coffee all over Vietnam and I've specifically not had it because I know that it's really popular here in Hanoi. So I've not had egg coffee yet. I've been waiting to have it here. So I can't wait to find a place today to try it for the very first time. We're gonna look for one, but we're gonna explore the city on the way. <laughs> so I saw a sign that says roti up here. I know it's not probably traditional Vietnamese breakfast or food, but I really liked it when I was in Malaysia and Indonesia, so roti! Oh, they look the exact same as Roti Boy! Look! Oh, I am so excited. What flavors do they have? They have matcha and cheese, matcha and chocolate, salted egg, chocolate, and then cheese. Xin Is it yours? Roti? Yeah. This one? Yeah. Uh, matcha chocolate. Uh, cheese and salted egg? Uh, yeah. Cheese. Please? What do you want to Yes, please, yes. <laughs> They're 20,000 each, so 100, so 40? 40, yeah. Uh, cheese? Yeah, Salted egg, okay. Come on. They look like roadie right They look exactly like it, I'm so excited. 60? Come on, thank you. Like I said, this probably isn't traditional Vietnamese, but when I was in Malaysia, I was obsessed. And they look almost exactly the same. They're like a big puff of bread, um, and they normally have the fillings, like, hidden on the inside and I had one of these every morning when we were in Kuala Lumpur so I'm super excited to try this. Didn't expect to find them here. I did not expect to find them in Vietnam that's for sure. It's really similar. This one though the inside the cheese is like a thick custard whereas in the other one it was kind of like melted butter if that makes sense. So it's a little bit thicker both with the bread and the inside. I'm surprised. I'm glad I found this in Vietnam. Brick soft and melt inside. <laughs> Crunchy and crispy outside. Now I don't know if I want to taste Rick, the outside's the same. So something interesting I've noticed is that we're walking around these different streets and each one is kind of looks like it's for a different thing. Like there's so many paint shops on this street. We went past another street that had so many tech things like phone cases, like internet routers and things like that. So each street must have like different supplies. I just watched I just watched those dogs attack a little schoolboy. <laughs> so our lovely friend Jean from our hotel, she has been looking after us and she actually told us this is the place to go. She said this is the local place, this is where she goes for egg coffee. Now we're in this local, really local street, everyone's staring at me vlogging, and we're gonna find some egg coffee. Hi! <laughs> so we're gonna find some egg coffee here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Xin <laughs> chào. Yeah, hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> Can I please... Do you want one or just yeah, one? Yeah, we'll get one egg. Could we get two of the espressos? The Espresso, egg? Yeah. yeah, please. 130,000. Don't mix it. Don't mix it? Yeah. So just like... Yes. So I just drink it like with this? Yeah. Okay. And don't mix, just... Okay. It's okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, so she told me to just kind of like use the spoon. And I can see that it's only sort of like half of the cup. It's only sort of 50% full. This actually isn't really what I expected. I'm sure that other places have them like looking different and every place does something slightly differently like anything else. But this isn't really what I pictured. <laughs> Give it a go. It smells like coffee. Yeah. Oh. What is that? That is the best thing I've ever had. 
the most similar thing I can think of is an affogato where it has coffee in the bottom and has like a little bit of ice cream frothy and soft and cloudy it kind of tastes like drinking a cloud oh it's so good why did I wait three weeks to drink this that is quite possibly the best take on a coffee I've ever had honestly that coffee was so good it was obviously more like whipped fluffiness than actual coffee but it was amazing now we're just walking through here everything is within a walking distance today which is so handy but something really cool is all of these like back streets all of these like little alleyways with all the street food people in little chairs just eating on the side of the road it is so cool i love the little chairs here the other thing here is these massive buildings they always go up so high and they're so thin and narrow and it is so cool and they create these alleyways that are just absolutely beautiful to walk through very french looking or feeling and that's obviously the colonization but they've got that big like i don't know how to describe it but it, go, it goes out like that rather than straight up you know what i mean <laughs> well speaking of france <laughs> we were just walking we came across this like big french and stuff inspired building it's uh it's massive what's it called is this the name Oh. Hi. Hi. How are you? <laughs> Good, how are you? <laughs> it looks massive. No, thank you. It looks massive. What is it? That can't be right. What does it look like? Well, it's a Catholic building and we know that. Na, do, lon, Hanoi. Na, do, lon, Hanoi. Sorry? What is it? Sikok, lon, Oban. Open? Oh, six o'clock open. Yeah, okay, so. thank you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a Christmas tree. Oh. <laughs> we'll put it up for Christmas. I was just, I was just looking at the thing, and then I realized Michael, <laughs> look at all these Christmas tree on the ground, like right in front of me, and it's right above me. I've been to Paris. I don't really remember it though. It was about ten yeah. years ago. So, hey, <laughs> hey. So it was a really long time ago. So I don't really that. remember. Wait, wait. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. We're just walking. Yeah. Here. Just around, open the house, photo. Just around, change it. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you. Okay. 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 Thank you. <laughs> so, fun fact: in Australia, we actually celebrate Christmas with all these Christmas trees and all of the like things that come with Christmas gatherings and things like that. Even though Australia is now mostly not Christian, which I didn't know until the other day when Michael told me that. <laughs> So another thing I'm noticing are these like Parisian balconies overlooking the streets here where you walk. This is just a cool city. I'm getting such a good vibe from here. I'm just really liking it. It's nice to just walk around. We don't really have a map right now. We're just exploring. So one thing which I did not expect is this beautiful, this lake right here in the middle of this massive city. And it's so tranquil. I don't know if you can see it. Look behind me. It's all like, I can hear birds like chirping. It's really relaxing and peaceful here. Even though the road is right there, you can still hear the cars, but I can hear the birds as well. And it is a nice place. To, people are just sitting. People will probably have picnics. People are probably walking along here for their exercise. It's a really good place to do all that. just walking around and exploring this city it's so pretty so stunning and really interesting to walk through oh back to you yeah yeah one back to you. yes please and a uh, cook huh? and a cook cola yeah one can one by me and two one by me one by me one back to you one third yeah okay. yes please okay. 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 Xin chào. Xin chào. Listen to this. I'm gonna put it right in front of the microphone, but this is the crunchiest bar meat that I've had so far. The crunchiest. Just so beautiful. It's so nice to sit here in this beautiful warm weather in this beautiful country and be able to sit here and just see everyone drive see people push their little rickshaws past, see people walk past with their fruits. It's just really nice to sit here and soak in and enjoy 
looking at a country like this from the side of the road. So just a short walk down that street and this is our hotel, the La Siesta in Vietnam, the luxury boutique. It is in the middle of absolutely everything. It is a gift to stay. We were gonna stay here anyway or somewhere like this because they are actually, she told us yesterday, number one on TripAdvisor at the moment. So if you're looking for a place to stay in Hanoi, you probably have already seen this. So let's show you the inside. We absolutely love it. Let's go. Oh, beautiful. So this is one of the best, if not the best place that we have stayed on the road for the entire 12 months we've been away. If you know our channel, you know I'm, I'm a bit of a budget traveler, so I don't often break the bank, but staying in an amazing place like this, every now and again, just to have a little treat and a little bit of luxury, is really awesome. Actually, the day we got here, I actually hit 100K subscribers, 100,000. So this has been like my little treat, <laughs> even though it is a gift and it is a treat for me. This has been amazing. So you walk in, it's actually two stories. You walk in the door and you have this massive spiral staircase all the way up to the top floor, which we'll get to in a second. On the right, that's the left. On the left <laughs> is somewhere you can put your bags so they're completely out of the way. So many times we're traveling and there's literally nowhere to put your bags. Okay, so we come through here and the roof's a little bit low, but remember that's because you have two stories in this one apartment state. This is the shower. It is sort of like a closet shower. It's very different because normally you'd have a bathroom, right? With like a toilet, a shower and a kitchen, a kitchen. What's I think of? Vanity, <laughs> all in one spot. If I'm having a shower, sometimes Michael needs to go to the toilet or vice versa. So it's good to have it separate for us. And then on this side, on the right, you have the toilet room. Actually, random, but the toilet paper is really nice. <laughs> it is like 10 ply or something, it's amazing. So after that, you have this amazing vanity. It's out in the open, luxurious marble, amazing tapware. Everything's like that 1920s. It's so modern and new, like the entire hotel, but just like that rich, old school rich, if that makes sense. Especially this little cabinet, you open it and it's got all your like wine glasses, your coffee. You have a working desk, which for us is essential. As you can see, we've already put that to good use. Michael and I were having this argument. He thinks there's three balconies in this place. I think there's two and a half. So tell me what you think. Is this a balcony or is it a half balcony? I think it's a half one, but you can still Stand on it. You can still me. stand on it. You can still stand on it. I gotta show you one of the best things about this place. Let's go this way. So this is, I think, the best balcony. It is an outdoor bar with all your conditioner, shower, body gel, all of that stuff. Let's go look upstairs. So this is upstairs. Tell me something that screams luxury more than a chandelier. What? <laughs> this bed is massive. This is big. It is comfy. These two nights that we're here are gifted, but we're actually staying here another couple of nights because this bed is so amazing obviously from our own pockets that's how much we love <laughs> staying and sleeping in this bed artwork above it is really nice very quaint the bedside tables are very cool amazing amount of light especially because there's windows on each side of this apartment then you have yet another balcony on the other side of the apartment to look over the city so not only do they have a beautiful room but they have beautiful common areas a massive breakfast selection with cold meats fruit Roots, eggs your way. We got to enjoy a few of the amazing things you can do in this hotel, like the spa where we were treated to an hour massage at what felt like 50 course dinner, showing off some of Vietnam's finest foods with more than exceptional service. We then went upstairs and we were treated to a cocktail and some finger food to see La Siesta's rooftop bar at night after dinner. We ended up paying ourselves to stay a few more nights after the gifted stay. And this is what a cheaper room in the hotel looks like and we we're really happy with the quality of this type of room as well. But one of the best things is being up here, basically on the top, the very highest point of Hanoi. This has been such a great day. Thank you to the last Siesta for working with me. It's been such an amazing stay here. And as you know, we ended up staying a couple of nights on our own money anyway. So this has been awesome. Such a great place to look out over the city and just enjoy our travels. Sometimes we work so hard, I kind of forget to just enjoy where I am and this is a great place to do it. So if you haven't already, make sure you do like and subscribe. I'm loving Vietnam and it would really help my channel. You remember, you can always unsubscribe later on. Bye.